Welcome to the 2015 Country Jam, and we're here in the Country Club getting ready to kick things off with a woman who last weekend not only kicked off a great festival, but sang one of the most stirring renditions of the national oh anthem that I've ever heard, Miss Sasha McVeigh. How are you? Wow, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm doing great. I'm really good. And if you didn't notice, she's British, <laughs> but her national anthem was... Now, I, if I understand this right, you don't even know the lyrics to your own national I anthem. I don't. That's really bad. If there's any Brits in the audience, I really do apologize, but I honestly don't know our national anthem at all. Well, let me start by asking the obvious question. I mean, you have a great voice, very talented, and some great songs. Why did you choose to come to America to pursue country music as opposed to choosing music in Britain? Well, it's kind of, it's one of those kind of weird situations. Country music is starting to make a bit of a resurgence in the UK um, now. But certainly when I started, because I, I played in Nashville from 2012. Um, but country music, even back then, it just, there wasn't that fan base that we have over here and even now the fan base is nothing you know like it is right, absolutely. here and i just i love it here i love coming over here the people have always been really welcoming you know to me so uh, that's that's kind of my dream is to move here and really pursue it head on over here and you can follow her on twitter at sasha mcveigh <laughs> and follow her british girl in america hashtag this is her journey kind of <laughs> across the country she drove well, her mom drove yeah, from my mom drove. New York uh, to now Grand Junction, Colorado for Country Jam. And it's just the cutest photos you'll ever see of your journey. <laughs> Where have been some of your favorite places to stop along the way? Oh, well, we stopped because um, I have the boys in my band are with me and they've right. actually never been to America before. This is their first time here. So that we're throwing them in at the deep end with all this driving. <laughs> but we went to, we stopped at Grizzly Creek on the way from Denver yep. and that's gorgeous. Except it was flooded because of all the rain. But that was really nice. We're going to be going to Sedona in Arizona, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, just everything. I just love seeing all the different countrysides and how it changes as you're driving. It's really cool. I want to play a little Sasha McVeigh, True or False. Ready? Okay. You Are we ready? True or False. Uh, true or False, you love Disney. That is 100,000 billion percent true. I even wear a Mickey Mouse watch that I've had since I was four. All right. True or False, that watch doesn't work. <laughs> how did you know that? <laughs> It doesn't work, no. I might says, have talked to some people. It says 11 a.m. So it, well, it says 11, just 11. So if it's ever 11 o'clock, p.m. or a.m., we're all good. Otherwise, no. True or false, in your spare time, you've been known to put on the princess costumes uh, from time to time. You've definitely been stalking me on Instagram. I, <laughs> like, for real. I know people. I know people, Sasha. <laughs> yes, I do. I go to Disney. It's called Disney Bounding. Right. I dress up as the characters when I go. Who's your favorite character from Disney? Well, it's difficult. I, I love Pocahontas. She's my favorite female. Sure. But my favorite male is Gaston, so I have been known to dress as Belle and flirt with Gaston at Disney. It <laughs> okay. does happen. We say all this, but I promise you she's a serious country artist, and when you see her on stage in just a few minutes, you're going to get a picture of that. Tell people out there a little bit about your music and what kind of they can expect from your show. Uh, well, this is going to be more of an acoustic-based performance. I've got my bass player and my guitarist with me, and then I play guitar as well. Um, it's kind of a mix of everything. It's primarily country, but there's some Americana in there mm -hmm. um, as well. And they're just all true stories. So the best way you can get to know me is listen to my music. They're like rhyming diary entries. Yep. And, and then her new EP, I think, is I Stand Alone. Yes. A uh, song, uh, Someone to Break My Heart. Those are two samples you can find at her website and online at Twitter as well. <laughs> Um, British Girl in America. I'm not joking. Go check that out. It's a lot of fun just to kind of see in her trials and adventures across the state, including saving a man from Niagara Falls yes. with her mother's walking stick. It did happen. He was completely <laughs> drunk, and we managed to save him out of the uh, before he went over the falls. <laughs> well, there you have it. If anybody's in a bad way out there, a little inebriated and then needs a hand, Sasha McVeigh's We've got mom. your back. It's okay. It's got you covered. <laughs> Hey, you can still get tickets here to the Country Club as well. We're going to have artists all day long. It's the 2015 Country Jam right here in the VIP Club. Sasha, go out there and get them. We appreciate you talking to Thank us. Thank you very much. Can't wait. Bye-bye.